Who's married here? Is anybody married or no? You actually, all right, we got a few. You actually brought your wife to this, sir? That's fucking awesome. How long are you married for? Two years. All right, give it up for him. Two years, and they're still hanging out somehow. Because there's always the girl that wants to get married. There's one always bring it up, right? My wife just one day, yeah, right here. My wife one day in the blue is like, how about take this relationship to the next level? I'm like, okay, fine, we'll try anal. What level are you talking about? Let me tell you something. Anal sex is alive and well, am I right? Yeah! All right, 25 guys and no girls. Yes, she's not into it, right? Oh, shit. I know, you love anal, sir? Is there anybody involved when it goes down, or is it just him right here? <laughs> no, my wife's the same way. It's always the excuse. Oh, it's going to hurt. Stop that, ladies. We're not buying that anymore, all right? Like I said, I got a small penis. My wife makes fun of it every day. She squints at it. She's like, let me hold it like an old roach clip and take a fucking hit out of it. Whatever she does, that's fine. If that makes her laugh. But don't tell me that it's too... Don't tell me it's going to hurt. I try to deal with that. I come on, let's just do anal. No, it's going to hurt. I go, really? You just clogged the bowl last night, okay? The turd you left in there was so big, I had to go in the garage and get a shovel and chop it up. No, oh, shit. It was so big, I could have took it out of the bowl, held it up like I caught a fish. I could have been a cover of Fisherman's Digest. So don't tell me something that big coming out of you when this little thing going in is going to be a problem. And you know what? She fucking gave it up like a trooper, so God bless America. And what a surprise. It didn't hurt. It was fucking beautiful. Let's hear for all the girls here tonight. We got a lot of girls? Uh... Oh, look, there's like six of them right there in a row. Right. Is this a little, like, girls' night out? Uh, that always ends in a disaster when a bunch of girls go out because there are a bunch of drama queens in the group that can't hang, right? That always happens, right? It always ends in a disaster. You guys know, right? You've been out there before with the girls. They start the night off, there's nine of them, right? Within an hour, they're down to six. Once drunk, she's outside, call her next boyfriend you to beat the shit out of her. Then they got another one puking in the bathroom, right? Yeah, because she decided to have three shots of Jaeger, two glasses of wine, and a margarita, and doesn't understand why she's puking. Right, yeah, her friends are holding her hair back right in the bathroom, and she's making excuses up. I think somebody put something in my drink. Yeah, somebody did. It was the bartender. It was called Booze, you fucking lightweight. Yeah, it was alcohol and ice. That's what was in your drink. And by the way, nobody put anything in your drink. You're not that hot, okay? That's right, I said it. You ever notice it's always the ugliest one in the group, right? Somebody put something in my drink. No, they didn't. <laughs> Somebody has to put something in their own drink to fuck you. That's how it works, okay? <laughs> I know, I've done it three times this month, and I'm going to do it again tonight. Don't smell my beer. Somebody's getting a dose. It might be you right here. <laughs> hey, give it up for all the bands you guys saw so far today, right? Breakfast Club, 10 years. I smell it. Yeah, nice on you. I forget the other bands, but they're all fucking good, man. Yeah, that too, all right. And who's drinking? Is anybody going to drink and drive tonight besides me? Yeah. Fuck it, they can't stop us all. That's my theory. <laughs> Seriously, there's 10,000 people here tonight. If everyone drives drunk, how many are going to catch? Maybe 30? Those are fucking good odds. Look at it that way. <laughs> you know what I mean? I stop. I fucking, I've been doing it for 20 years, never got caught, I'm a fucking professional. They try to scare you with that shit too, right? They just put a big sign on my town that says, you, you drink, you drive, you lose. Not true. If I drink and drive and I get home, I fucking won, okay? I'm like 5,000 and oh. I don't even have a tie. <laughs> but no, be careful. You can't do that shit anymore, so be careful. Because I got the roadblocks out there with the cops. You guys have been caught in them. That sucks. I got caught in a roadblock like a month ago. The cops like, you been drinking? I go, yeah. He goes, are you drunk? I go, do you see a fat chick in my car? <laughs> she was in the truck. I couldn't fucking fit her in the back. <laughs> hey, we have any uh, Crank Eggers fans? I used to play on uh, Special Edit Crank Eggers. <laughs> Yeah, I played the retarded puppet. and I was the guy who went, Yay, I got mail, yay! Fred makes me poop, yay! My family's very proud of me, that's what I'm known for, you know? 
Yeah, I basically bought a house by going, I want to go to Hawaii, yay! But I have a three-year-old son. How do I tell him later on? I go, son, you got to go to college like that. You played a retarded puppet and bought this house. I'm fucking laying on a house and smoking pot. I mean, on a couch, whatever. Are you not going to show your tits? Are you going to show this? I got the video right here. Is there any girl that will show him? You will? Can you show him? Alright, can you get... Sorry, put her on your shoulders real quick. Come on, this crowd's... It's a nice day in Cleveland, why not? Holy shit, you could fucking breastfeed Ethiopia with those things. Look at this, huh? This is beautiful. Look what I started. Nice. Let me get, is that, that 36C? Oh, because they're the same size as my grandmother's. Just hang a little lower. Oh, shit. Oh. Anyway, how cool. Oh, we got one more. Nice. I fucking love Cleveland. And one more time for Amanda Berry being up here. How fucking cool was that, man? Seriously.